Ni mai dong ma atong morotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 3, the Raka. In this lesson, we will learn about the type of sound the Raka is and how to use it in the spelling of Atong words. In the previous video, we learned that Atong has six vowel sounds. These vowel sounds are written with the letters A, E, I, O, U and E, as we can see here. All the other letters in the alphabet are used to write consonant sounds. These are the consonant letters of the Atong alphabet. Raka, Ba, Cha, Da, Ga, Ha, Ja, Ga, La, Ma, Na, Pa, Ra, Sha, Da and Wa. Note that the letter I can be used as a consonant or a vowel. As a consonant, it is used to write the consonant sound Y when it occurs after an A, O, U or E, as in the words Mai, spelled Ma, A, I, Goi, spelled Ga, O, I, Kansarui, spelled Ka, Ha, A, Na, Sa, E, Ra, U, I, and the word Dei spelled ta e i. There are two consonant sounds in Atong that are written with a combination of two letters. These are the sounds ch and ng. The sound ch is written with a combination of the letters cha and ha, as in the word chak, spelled cha, ha, a, ga. The sound ng is written with a combination of the letters na and ga as in the word nang, spelled na, a, na, ga, raka. Now let's talk more about the raka. The raka is a consonant, just like the other consonants in Atong. It is made by closing and opening your tokdel, or vocal cords, just like the sound p is made by opening and closing your lips. Try it when you say the words manap and nang. When you say the word manap, you close your lips at the end. When you say the word nang, you close your tokdel at the end. The raka can be spelled with a bullet or with the apostrophe, as you can see here in the word saak. Both spellings are correct. The apostrophe is easy to use in handwriting and when typing on your mobile phone or computer. The raka is always written directly after the syllable to which it belongs. In a later video, it will become clear why this rule is important. Here are some examples. Nang, na'a, rong, tau, te mut, hu rao, la. Now let's read these words together. Please repeat after me. Nang, na'a, rong, tau. The raka is an important letter in Atong. It is the raka that makes the difference between words like sa, sik, and sa'a, eat. And it is only the raka that makes the difference between these two expressions. And you don't want to get those wrong, do you? Here we see some more examples of pairs of words that are different because of the presence or absence of a raka. I will read the words from left to right without their English translations. Listen to the difference in pronunciation. Si, si, nikat, nepal, cha, cha, na, na, wal, wal, rong, rong, man. Man, ram, ram, tai, tai, tau, tau, meng, meng. There are many words in Atong with a raka, and writing it is important because if you don't, the meaning of the word may be different or the word will make no sense. There is no word ne gat, but ne gat is correct. There is no type of bee called ne pal but the word Nepal is correct. Here are some useful words with Araka. Let's read them together. Please repeat after me. Choisa. 
mi mang mi mang te eu te en tai ni tai nep de teng ge teng u rau bi ten ja ret ma su now let's do an exercise to see what you have remembered exercise I will say seven atong words. Try if you can hear if the word has a raka or not. If you have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, you can write the words. I will say every word two times. Now listen. Rong. Rong. Tau. 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 Wal. Wal Chong Su Chong Su Bi Ten Bi Ten Wal Wal That's it. Did you hear that? Now let me give you the solutions. Here they are. Let's read them together. Please repeat after me. Rong Tau Tau, wal, chong su, bi ten, wal. In this lesson, we have learned that the raka is a consonant, just like the other consonants in Atong, that it can be written with a bullet or an apostrophe, and that it is a very useful letter in Atong. Always write it when it is necessary. In the next video, we will learn about writing words with paha. Taha and Kaha. Getamgaba kamjamok. Chagaba aumetela. Bye bye. See you next time.